guys, welcome back to the channel. I am your homegirl, Daphne Brown. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the pros and cons of living in Rocheron, Texas. And because Iowa Colony is only a five minute drive from Rocheron, we're including that too. Ready to get started? Let's go. <music> So the first pro in living in Rocheron is we have our own skydiving facility. Yay! Listen, this is a small town, right? And so that's a big deal for us and we love it. From my home, I can sit out on the front porch. I can see people fall from the sky with their parachutes, of course. And it's an amazing view. Now, of course, I haven't tried it yet, but I will be trying it this year. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me when I do it. Stay tuned, that's gonna be in a future video. But yes, we do have a skydiving facility that brings so many people to the area. So we are really, really happy about that. Oh, bro, Sharon. Well, Sharon is also very quiet, very peaceful because we are 30 minutes outside of Houston. We don't have to live in that hustle and bustle. Rocheron and Iowa Colony also offers you a mix of rural and suburban life. And so as a result of that, we have a lot of green space, um, you can also have your animals if you choose, depending on what area you live in Rocheron and Iowa Colony. You can have cows, goats, horses, chickens. There are restrictions in some parts of both Iowa Colony and Rocheron, Texas. But if you're in an there area, are no restrictions, you can have your own animals. So that's good, especially if you have children that are part of FFA. Also, Rocheron has its own rodeo, yes! So on FM 521, there is a rodeo. We also have great schools. Now, because Rocheron is situated in two counties, Fort Bend and Brazoria County, we are gonna talk about those schools in future videos and bring you all the information on those schools. But Rocheron and Iowa Colony offer you the ability to be able to purchase homes that offer you a little bit more land so you're not just on a subdivision lot. Um, and because of that, you're able to either get a larger home or have more yard for the kids to play, to put a pool in, whatever your heart desires. Home ownership is huge in Iowa Colony and Rochere in Texas. As a result, most of the residents own their own homes. Depending on what area of Rocheron and Iowa Colony you're in, you'll see people on their four-wheelers, which I love. We love to see. And we love to participate in four-wheeler riding. If that's something that you crave, then Rocheron could possibly be the destination for also, you. Also, in Iowa Colony and Rocheron, Texas, the neighbors are friendly. Uh, Rocheron and Iowa Colony, Texas are still being developed. Um, they're really good areas to begin a business, to grow a mom and pop shop, it's a good foundation right now to get in on it because we're only growing. So if you have a mom and pop shop and you're looking to start a business, expand a business, this may be the place for you. Rocheron and Iowa Colony are very diverse in religions and cultures as well. We have lots of churches in the area. I wanna say the biggest church that we have is the Word of Restoration located off of FM 521. Now that we've covered the pros of living in Rocheron and Iowa Colony, Texas, let us talk about the cons. So I will start off by telling you this, because we are still a relatively small town, um, we don't have a lot of street lights. We have a lot of county roads that don't have a lot of street lights and it gets really, really dark at night, okay? So be cautious about that when driving. There are a lot of snake sightings. There are a lot of alligator sightings. Um, you have to really be careful. And in driving at night, there is a very good chance that a deer, that a hog, sometimes a cow and a horse, I've seen it happen will just dart out in front of your vehicle because they wanna go play in traffic and they wanna play with you, I guess. So that is a very real concern for areas like Iowa Colony and Rocheron, Texas. Also, we do, I mean, we do have two prisons off of FM 521. And so some people go like, no, I don't wanna be in an area where 
there's prisons. I don't want a prison bay. You don't have to, right? Nobody's telling you to be their pen pals. And I can tell you that we've lived off of FM 521. Again, as I stated in an earlier video since 2006, and I never had an issue where I had the helicopter hovering over my home telling me to stay in my house because there was a prison break and prisoners escaped. Just don't buy where you're like walking distance to the prison. You can still live in Rochelle and Iowa Colony, Texas. Come on now. Here's a very important con that I want to make sure that you're aware of. Traffic in good old Iowa Colony, Texas and good old Rochelle in Texas can be a pain. Okay? We don't necessarily have traffic like Houston traffic, but it is still traffic nonetheless. So because our areas grew at such an accelerated speed, in large part due to COVID, right? Because of that, we don't have the proper infrastructure in place. Now, I'll break that down. I will tell you that on FM 521, it's a four lane highway, two lanes for each direction in some parts of FM 521. Now, however, closer to the communities, which are Huntington Place, Glendale Lakes, Southern Colony, Caldwell Ranch, those areas only have two lanes, one lane for each direction. And there is a horrible railroad track, like really horrible, like you could mess up your tires. So you have to go really slow. And because of that, there have been a few accidents. Your other homegirl, Andra Johnson, AJ, she had an accident where someone rear-ended her there. Um, I will tell you where the new communities are, um, being uh, Huntington Place, Southern Colony, um, Caldwell Ranch, and Glendale Lakes, and Sienna Point. Those areas only have a two-lane highway, one lane for each direction. So when there are wrecks, when there are emergencies, traffic is backed up and at a standstill. Mm. So, two things I want to leave you with on this con. Know your back roads. Know those county roads. Know those shortcuts, right? But then also, make sure that you plan ahead. So, I will tell you this. <clears throat> traffic congestion is a beast on FM 521 by those communities I just mentioned. Typically from 9 till about 9.30 maybe 8.45 till 9.30, you know, when you're leaving for work. And then in the evening from about five to about 6.30, okay? So those are the times that you are gonna just be sitting in traffic. You might as well just have <laughs> this YouTube channel on listening to these videos. Wow, there's an idea, oh my God. Okay, so anyways, yes, during those times, peak times, um, where you are commuting to work in the morning and returning home in the evening, those are the times that you don't want to see that part of FM 521, more FM 521 and Highway 6. Ooh, you don't want to do it. And then also, if you're traveling on 288, exiting the Meridiana Parkway, about the same time, whew, with that exit, it is, it's horrible. What they've done to alleviate some of that congestion is they've installed traffic lights, but as of July 4th, they weren't even working. So yeah, learn the county roads, please. You'll thank me later. Now, in regards to the roadways, I will tell you that there are plans to expand um, 521 along the areas where those four community, five communities are, Huntington Place, Southern Colony, Caldwell Ranch, Glendale Lakes, and Sienna Point. There are plans to expand that roadway into four lanes. However, that's on hold for now. I'm gonna try to find out some more information and I'll be bringing that to you in a subsequent video. And also, while we're talking about railroad tracks, let's talk about that train. That train runs at the most inopportune time. There are plans to build an overpass um, at that area so that it doesn't shut down that part of the city because that's basically what happens now. There is an alternate route that you can go and we'll be showing that to you as well. Yeah. 
People who live in Rocheran understand that you need to drive. So to get to the malls, our closest being Pearland Town Center, it's about a 20 minute drive. And if you wanna to go to First Colony Mall, be prepared to endure a 40 minute drive. We also like to shop in bulk so it's a very good thing that we're only 20 minutes away from both Sam's and Costco. When grocery shopping and or regular household item shopping, we have Kroger, HEB, and Walmart, and they're all three located in Angleton, and you can get to Angleton in 15 minutes from Rocheran. However, if you choose to go in the opposite direction, which is in the Missouri City, Siena area, you can also get to all three of those locations in about 20 to 25 minutes. You can also choose to go to Pearland, and that drive time is going to be about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, drop them all below. If you need to contact us, our contact information is listed below as well. Till next time guys, bye.